Oh man. This brawny situation, y'all. Where where do I even start? Okay, where do I even start? All right. Full transparency, guys. I am a pretty much lifelong Lakers fan. Okay. I hate to use the word fan uh, because that's a short for fanatical. And a lot of fans can be a bit, you know, way out there in terms of reality. Um, I'd like to say right now that I'm 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 a supporter of the Lakers and I root for them. Although lately, over the last few years, I've come to the realization that this organization is not really about winning at all, right? Like it's, it's a joke. The Lakers are a joke. They've been a joke um, and they're going to continue to be a joke for a very long time. So it seems unless something dramatically changes, i.e. LeBron retires, i.e. Jeannie Buss and Rob Palinka and those guys are no longer in the positions that they're in. Until those things occur, this is pretty much going to be what it's going to be. And so when I hear about this situation with Bronny, the first thing that comes to my mind is who didn't see this coming? I mean, we knew this for a couple years now from the time that LeBron even put it out there. And the fact from the time he got to the Lakers, we knew what was up. Okay. We knew he had no, he's not leaving the Lakers. Okay. Because, and people speculated this when he got to the team because of all the connections he has in LA and all the other stuff that he wants to do. And of course, you know, who wouldn't want to live in LA, right? Especially when you're rich, like who wouldn't want to live there, right? Perfect weather all year round. So we knew this, all right? So this is no surprise, but I want to talk about a couple of things because I know people are bringing up the whole nepotism thing, right? And I'm seeing people on ESPN, people on this platform, they're all making these cases of like, oh, well, you know, front office guys do it all the time. And we see this happen in business all the time. And that's true. That's true. I would go even a step further. I would argue that every single person, those who are watching me now, we've all experienced a time in our lives where we've leveraged a relationship that we had in order to get an opportunity. In order to get an opportunity or a thing, right? Now, keep in mind, nepotism isn't just talking about relatives. It's also relatives and friends, right? So we've all had situations where it's like, yo, you've been on either the receiving side or the giving side of this scenario. And so I even think about the time where, for me, where I was pretty much installed in a particular role at a job because of who I knew. But I also knew, right, that I could do the job. So although those around me <clears throat> looked at the situation and felt like, oh, well, he's just here because of who he knows, right? We, we, we all know the term, right? It's not about what you know, it's who you know. So we've all benefited. But I knew that I could do the job. And once I was given the opportunity, it motivated me even further to feel like, hey, not only am I going to do this, I can do this job, but I could do this job at a high level and I'm going to make you respect me. Like you're, you're going to look at me. You're going to say, yo, yeah, you know, he may have leveraged an opportunity or a relationship, but damn, this guy's good. This guy works hard. Right. And he knows what he's doing. And so that was always in the back of my mind as well. And so I'm hoping that that's in the back of Bronny's mind, because let's take a step back. Let's let's call this what this is. Right now, this has nothing to do with him. This isn't even about him. And that's the sad part. This is about his dad. This is about LeBron James and his narcissism. This is about LeBron James and his greatness and his legacy. Right. Because all these games and everything that we're about to see. It's going to be about LeBron James because he's the he's the superstar, right? But now, OK, where does that leave Bronny? Because all signs indicate that he's not ready for the NBA. When we look at what he's done at USC, 4.8 points. I don't got to say that. We all know what it is. We all heard about it, right? Him having a medical condition where he passed out at one point. I mean, like that alone would make a lot of teams just like not even pick you. But like we, we understand why he's there. 
My thing is, and I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. It is what it is. But what I'm looking at is this. Daddy's not going to be there for long. He's not going to be there for long. And the difference between this scenario and that exec, front office exec, this is competitive sports. Night in and night out, you're going to be going up against other teams. These guys already trash talk. Now, I, I believe a lot of dudes are going to be on their best behavior. Because LeBron is still there. He still has some power. But he's going to be gone. He's going to be gone. And Bronny's going to have to carry this weight throughout the rest of his career. And to me, that feels very selfish. I really do hope. I really do hope that deep down inside, Bronny really does feel like he deserves this opportunity. He really wants to make the best out of it. Because he's going to be reminded of this. It, I mean, I'll put it to you like this. Had he come into the NBA under any other circumstance alone, he would have had eyeballs on him. He would have had pressure on him just for the mere fact of his name alone. Okay, he could have went to any team. He would have had eyeballs on him. And guys would have been coming at him and saying, hey, you know, your dad this, your dad that. But the fact now that he's coming to the league like this, this is going to follow him throughout his career. Now, I'm a big proponent of success erases all, okay, especially in professional sports. And I really do hope he lives up to, you know, where he's a decent basketball player. But my God, could you imagine the trash talk? I mean, could you imagine the, because he ain't going to see it now. That's the, and that's the crazy thing. He's not going to see it now. The players on his own team won't really go at him hard. They'll be, you know, we're kind of be looking at him like, you know, people are watching to see how you even interact with Bronny James. So his own teammates won't, will kind of look at him with a side eye. But when LeBron's gone, not only his teammates, but also the, the opposing teams, you understand the type of trash talking that's going to be coming his way? I really hope, I really hope his talent or I really hope he develops to where like, I'm, I'm look, I'm rooting for the brother. I don't want to see him fail, but I look at this and I just say, all of this is because of LeBron James and his narcissism. I, 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 I cannot, because for anybody, even if you're, okay, you're a parent, you have a child, you want them, you want your child to do better than you. You want the best for your children. Okay, fine, right? But you also got to look at your child and say like, yo, is this what's best for him? Because that's, that's, that's also a thing too, right? It's like parents make sacrifices. They want the best for their children, but you also don't want to set your child up for failure. You also don't want to be the reason why your child is put in a position to which he has even additional stress on top of him that he didn't really deserve. He didn't, he didn't need. He has additional pressure. What parent wants to feel like you've added that type of pressure onto your child? And again, LeBron's probably looking at it like, hey, that's why I wanted to be on the same team with him because, you know, he can... He can tell him what to say and tell him what to do. And he can, you know, get, he still has power. He could still make sure certain media members don't ask certain things or, you know, he, he can be there, but you're not going to be there forever, man. You're not going to be there forever. And your kid's going to have to deal with these consequences, man. That's the part that I don't feel like a lot of people are really focusing on. Everybody's focusing on the nepotism thing because they're, they're making this, 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 you know, it's a, it's a black and white thing. And I'm going to tell you like this. To me, it's very simple. And this goes with, e with everything. If I feel like something you're doing is wrong, just because I start doing it doesn't make it right. Just makes me a hypocrite. And just means that I can't speak about it anymore. And more people are going to still be affected because you're going to continue doing what it is that you're doing. But more people who may look like me is going to be affected and going to be on the opposite side of this. And it's going to be less, it's going to be even harder for them to try to compete against that because I'm adding to the scenario, right? So something doesn't become right when it was wrong just because you start doing it. And so, hey, 
if that's the argument and that's what people want to base this on, that's fine. Like I said, we've all benefited to some degree. However, what we can't overlook is the mere fact of who ultimately is going to be affected negatively by this. And that's going to be Bronny James. Right now, the media is playing their part. They're, they're, they're falling in line. The memo went out. They're going to be defending ESPN is on board. All these people are on board. That's all fun and cute. But when LeBron's out of there, if his son is averaging five points, can't get off the bench, and he's doing bad, he might damn well get ran out the league. And that's going to be a sad case because he might, he might have been able to come in and been able to develop and came in and at least had the respect of his peers in the sense of like, hey, man, at least... You know, guys could look at him and say, yo, at least the dude worked. He, you know what I mean? He, he, he earned it. Now it's like, okay, cool, fine. You, you, you got to hand it to you, but, and then, and then you can't even compete, really? And you're not even that good? Like, I really, I really hope he balls out. This is not, this video is not a knock on Bronny. In fact, like I said, I feel for him. Because I really hope he got that, I really hope he got that, that <laughs> that fire in his belly because he gonna need it because his father really set him up and lebron james know what this is all about this again it's all about his own selfishness this ain't about nothing else this is how it makes him look and we're gonna go through this whole season and that's gonna be the whole story because they ain't gonna win no games they can't get no players to come onto the team we all know why what a lot of these players don't want to come to the team, especially after seeing this. They're not going to want to come to the team because they're looking at it like it's a joke. And they're saying to themselves, why would I come to a team and help this guy when if we win, it's going to be because of him. And if we lose, everybody else on the roster gets blamed. Who wants that? Nobody, that's why we, we, we can't land anybody. Lakers can't land anybody. I'm not, I'm not. I've, I've come to that conclusion a long time ago. So, I really hope he does well. I, I mean, I hardly watch the games now because it's just, the league is just, I don't know. It's, it hasn't been that, that, that exciting to me, but like, this is a storyline that the Lakers and the NBA wanted to push. Here you go. You have it. You have it. Here's your storyline. You have it. But I really hope he can play. I really hope he develops into a great player or even, you know, just a good player. But I really hope that deep down inside, he's able to play this game honorably, right? He's able to compete honorably and he's able to, to, to really feel like, Hey, I'm here because I belong here. And that's the feeling that I feel like was robbed from. That's the feeling that his dad was able to have when he came into the league. And I hope I hope I hope Bronny is able to to weather the storm because the storm is coming. We've already heard reports about NBA players past and present. They're all this don't look good, man. This don't look good. And they're going to take it out on them on that court. And like I said, it's going to be all cute and, and cool because daddy's there. But when LeBron's up out of this league. We'll see if we'll see. We'll see how Bronny does, man. That's my thoughts on it, man. Forget this nepotism. Forget all that other stuff, man. I just hope the kid could ball because, like I said, man, this, 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 it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough couple of years if he can't, man. It's gonna be a rough couple of years.